defiant televised address marking one month of the war between Israel and Hamas, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu refuses fire, links fuel delivery to hostage release as tensions rise in the Middle East. Jane Kodnita has the details. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in a one-month update on the conflict with Hamas firmly refused a ceasefire and insisted on the release of hostages by Hamas before fuel delivery to Gaza. The conflict started on October 7 when Hamas attacked Israel, causing over 1,400 casualties and taking 240 hostages. Israel responded with airstrikes and ground operations, resulting in more than 10,300 casualties, including many civilians. Despite international calls for a ceasefire, Netanyahu remained firm. The United Nations and the World Health Organization expressed concerns about the rising number of child casualties. The International Committee of the Red Cross also voiced alarm about civilian suffering, particularly children with severe brain injuries. Netanyahu issued a warning to Hezbollah regarding a potential new front in the conflict, with Israel deploying tanks along the border and clashes with Hezbollah fighters. Netanyahu also said that Hezbollah opening a new front in the ongoing conflict will be the mistake of its life. Israeli forces have already deployed tanks along its border with Lebanon and has exchanged fire with fighters of Hezbollah. Meanwhile, the United States emphasized that it does not support the Israeli reoccupation of Gaza and stressed Palestinian leadership in decisions about Gaza's future, according to the White House National Security Spokesperson John Kirby. According to Kirby, Biden believes that a reoccupation of Israeli forces of Gaza is not the right thing to do. Kirby's comments comes after Netanyahu suggested that Israel would take control of Gaza security for indefinite period, and this would happen after the war with Hamas. To recall, Netanyahu said, and quote, When we don't have the security responsibility, what we have is the eruption of Hamas terror on a scale that we couldn't imagine. But Kirby recently said that there needs to be a healthy set of conversations about what post-conflict Gaza looks and what the governance looks like. Meanwhile, Abdel Latif al kanu a spokesperson of Hamas, rejected the proposal. In a Telegram post, the Hamas spokesperson said, end quote, What Kirby said about the future of Gaza after Hamas is a fantasy. Our people are symbiotic with the resistance and only they will decide their future. Reporting, this has been Jane Kodnita, SMRI News.